Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, well, welcome over. My name is Amy. And in today's video, you guys, it's a makeup tutorial. It's been a minute since I actually sat down here and filmed a makeup tutorial for you all. But listen, chill out, okay? It's Eid, I had to come up with some beats. I'm gonna try out a lot of new products um, that are not new to the market, but new to me. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys what products these are. And I created this look for you all today. I made sure that it was very simple, but yet still glamorous, something that's very beginner friendly. Um, this is like your beginner friendly glam look, okay? You want to look like you've done so much work, but really did not, okay? I legit used like two to three eyeshadows and that's about it. It, you guys okay well if you want to see how I created this look make sure you stick around keep on watching but before we jump into the video you guys know the drill don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video and please don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section below I want to know how you're celebrating your Eid are you celebrating by yourself or with your family your friends your loved ones I know like for us in the West it's a little hard because sometimes we could be a little lonely but um, I hope you celebrate in style just wake up do something get your makeup done go to the mosque like whatever and however you want to celebrate it but please don't also forget to tag me on all your eat photos on Instagram because I want to know what you guys like war I want to know what you guys did with your makeup like I'm nosy um, so I'll leave my Instagram in the description bar but I also leave the name right here for you all to see it's Amy C stay underscore so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you go ahead and follow me there also but enough of the rambling without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna conceal my brow I'm gonna use the same concealer I used to clean my brow I did my brows off camera because you guys I already have a brow tutorial. If you have never seen that, I will put it somewhere here. And I also leave the link down in the description bar so you can watch that after you watch this video. So I'm just applying that bright concealer underneath, right directly underneath the middle of my eye area. And I'm using the Beauty Blender Concealer in 4.35W. I don't know why my voice sounds like this. Hold on. Next, I'm gonna take another concealer from Too Faced and this is in the shade Coco. I'm gonna apply this right in the inner corner of my eye area and also on the outer corner of my eye. And this is just to make sure that, you guys, my voice sounds horrible. So I lost my voice a few days ago because I went to a basketball game and you guys, I was, I was deep into the game, just saying. If you watch my vlog coming up next on my birthday, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, okay? Just so it gets a little bit tacky and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe brush and this is E20 and I'm just gonna go ahead and press that concealer in. And I'm not gonna mix them, so I'm just gonna press it in just so that the highlighted section stays in the middle, okay? I'm gonna be using my shallow tulberry powder. Um, you guys, I was given these a while ago and I'm still yet to be able to try them out for you all. But I'm gonna try it out for you all today. And this is the Airbrush um, Flawless Finish Powder. People, everyone raves about this powder, you guys. So I'm gonna try this actually today. I hope you guys can see it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I love her packaging. She does have a really nice slick packaging. Um, I have the shade number four in this powder, and I think this is actually the deepest shade that it comes in. Okay, I'm just gonna take that powder. Oh, it's a little, it's actually a little darker than I thought. So, but it's okay, I'm gonna make it work. So I'm gonna take some of my Huda Beauty powder, and this is in the shade Cinnamon Bun, and I'm just gonna take that and lightly dust that shade right underneath my brow area, because this one is a bit brighter than my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Okay. And for my eyes, I'm gonna keep it quite simple. I'm gonna use this Nudes palette from um, Huda Beauty. I'm gonna pick up this brown shade right here, okay? It actually looks a bit lighter on camera, but it's a little bit more chocolatey than it's showing on camera. Okay, and I'm just gonna buff that right in my crease area. And you can use any soft brown shade that you have, like you don't really have to use this exact one. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking that color and I'm just blending it in my crease area 
and then bring it up to my brow, brow area, okay? So just like that. I'm gonna use my Minted Cosmetics, This, you guys, this is beat up, okay? This is my Minted Cosmetic Bronzer in Out of Office, and I'm just gonna take some of that and just gently apply it mostly in the outer corner. I'm using a different brush to do, apply this one just so that the product doesn't mix up with the other brush, okay? So just ch make sure you change your brush when you're doing this. Okay, I'm just applying it on my outer corner. You guys, this look is perfect for someone who doesn't like wearing eyeshadow. Like, you just want something quite simple, very fast. Um, especially for eat, you know? You know, us the grown-ups, we ain't got time, baby. You Like, we, we got places to go and people to see, okay? So you don't want to be applying your makeup all day. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this color. I'm just going to use all matte colors, okay? Um, so I'm going to use this color, which is almost like my skin tone. A little bit more peachy, okay? And then just tap that in my inner corner if you don't have this you can literally use your bronzer and then your face powder and you can achieve the same exact look you guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a matte black eyeshadow okay I'm gonna just use my Jaclyn Hill palette I'm gonna use a very small definer brush this is the Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil uh, because it's very fine. So I'm gonna just take that and just gently just take that black shadow and Press it on the outer corner of my lash. I don't want it super black So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to like go over it with some brown This is also very easy for someone who doesn't know how to do eyeliner. I just take a very small brush and literally just press the eyeshadow on your um, on your lash line and then boom, like you have a liner, okay? Liquid liners and pencil eyeliners could be quite um, intimidating sometimes, so this is like perfect. For my lashes, I'm gonna use these lashes that I got from the beauty supply store, and it's in the, st it's the brand I Envy. And the style is the Remy 3D lashes. It literally just looks like the Demi Whispers, so if you don't have this ones, you can just use a Demi Whisper lash. You don't even have to use eyelashes, really. Uh, I'm just being extra, okay? So you can just wear a ton of mascara and then call it a day. I'm gonna use the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face while I let my lashes uh, dry up before I apply them. Just to give the skin a little glow, I'm gonna add my um, Shadow to my Hollywood Flawless Filter, and this is in the shade 8 Deep. Um, this is just gonna add, give my skin a little bit more glow, okay? It's a little tiny bit lighter than my face, but I promise it's going to work, okay? Because it's a glow, okay? So, okay, I'm gonna just apply it on the highest points of my face. And look at that. It is stunning, you guys. Ooh. It just makes my skin look so good. Look at that. Look at that glow. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, I see you. I absolutely love this, you guys. Ugh. Oh. It looks like I have foundation on. So I'm gonna let that lash glue dry. Let's go ahead and apply our foundation. So I'm gonna try this new, uh, no, it's not new, I'm gonna try this uh, foundations from Charlotte. They look quite light for me. I feel like these two shades down here are gonna be my highlight shades. This one is the closest to my skin color, but I think it's still going to be quite light. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm probably gonna have to mix it, okay? Yeah. It's gonna be a little, just a little tiny light on my face, okay? So I'm gonna mix it up with my Trusted Backstage Foundation, um, the Dior Face and Body. And I'm gonna use actually a darker shade. So I'm gonna use a nine neutral. My actual shade is an eight neutral. So I'm gonna mix it with the nine neutral to create my perfect shade. This is my first time using it, you guys. It's like lightly scented. Oh my god, that looks 
so good. Wow. You guys, look at that mixture on my skin. It looks absolutely stunning. Can you see how my skin is glowing from like ugh, this Hollywood Flawless filter, you guys? This stuff is stunning. Oh my God, where have I been? I'm literally obsessed with this mixture, you guys. I don't know if it's the Hollywood Flawless filter because my skin just looks so good. Oh my gosh, skin on 100. Okay, Charlotte. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is absolutely stunning. Like, I don't even think I want to put anything else on my skin because my skin looks so freaking good. Whoa. You guys, I just realized that I was not recording this whole time. I don't know where my recording stopped. Um, excuse me. But we're gonna keep it moving, okay? Cause child, I'm not, about, I'm not about to start filming again, okay? So this is how I apply my concealer now. I don't apply too much excess concealer anymore. I highlight hair and then stretch it outside. Um, this is like the new TikTok like concealer and I actually really like it because I don't need to apply so much concealer and I still have the facelift. Okay, who doesn't want a fa free facelift? Okay, with just a concealer child. Let me tell you. Okay, so the first concealer I applied was uh, uh was cafe and i'm just gonna go i'm going ahead over it with amand just to give me a bit more brightness okay um because i don't think cafe is going to do what i want it to do let's go ahead and blend this concealer out i'm just using a damp beauty blender sponge and it's gonna blend this out okay i'm not gonna blend out my under eyes yet because i want that concealer to get a bit tacky so i get more coverage on there okay so I'm just gonna blend out the outer corner, stretch it out to the hairline, and we're gonna go back and blend it, okay? But you want to have that extended look right there. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place foundation stick, um, and this is in the shade Congo. I'm gonna use a little bit of that to contour it. So I'm gonna just buff that into my brush, okay? And then just lightly Okay, just go high up with your contour, very, very lightly, just like that. Next, I'm just gonna take my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from um, Shallow Tilbury, and this is in the shade number four. This is the same one I applied on my eyelids. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly just set my concealer, okay? I like to set my concealer with a pressed powder first before I highlight, so that way it doesn't look cakey at all, okay? So I'm just gonna take my um, Huda Beauty pow Loose Powder in Cinnabon and just go ahead and just sink in that nose, okay? We want to look like we just had a nose job, but not really, okay? <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use, this is my favorite product, you guys, right now. And this is the Dior um, No Powder Powder, and this is in from the Backstage line. You guys, this powder is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Powder Puff. I actually realized that I love using this with the powder puff, and just like literally just go ahead and just like stipple it onto the skin, and it literally just blows my skin, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead now and carve out my jawline. You guys can see the, like what I do now, okay? So basically I set anything before I apply a lighter powder. And I promise if once you start doing that, you're gonna realize that you don't have any harsh lines anymore. Okay. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use my Minted Cosmetic Bronzer. You guys, this is my absolute favorite bronzer for chocolate girls. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze my face. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. I'm gonna use a black eyeliner, and this is from NARS. And I'm gonna take my bronzer, same steps I did on top, okay? And just buff it mostly just in the outer corner of the eye. Just keeping it very soft and simple. So instead of dusting the powder off, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press it into the skin, okay? So everything just sets nicely onto the skin. 
So to get rid of that powder finish on my face, I'm going to take the Shallow Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And you guys, this is literally going to change your life, okay? She is a game changer. This will literally make your makeup set all day. It's legit like butt proof. Like if you're going to be wearing a mask, you need this in your life. Like I promise you, you will not regret it at all. And whilst I let that dry off, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on. I'm using my Pat McGrath mascara. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this shade right here, very lightly, and just go ahead and just... Oh, that's too pink. Actually, I kinda don't mind it, but it's a little too pink for me. Okay, let's try a more golden one. So I'm gonna try this one right here. So what I do is I'm just gonna stretch it up a little high just to give the eye a bit more like lift. Can you see that? So let's go with a cream blush. I'm gonna use my um, Rare Beauty cream blush and this is in the shade Love. Okay, I'm gonna put it behind my hand and just go ahead and just tap it. Make sure you wear your blush a little bit higher, okay? So that way it gives you more of a face lift, okay? Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter. Like, this is nothing new to my channel, and this is the Dior Backstage highlighter. Um, I'm gonna use this color right here. Okay, just very lightly, I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it on my cheekbone. Give it or put it, whichever one you choose. I'm gonna try this Shadow Tilbury um, Pillow Top Intense 3 Lip Liner. I hope it's dark enough for me, honey, because listen. Oh, it's actually dark, but it's not as dark as I would want it to be. Okay? If you're like my, if you're like a shade lighter than my skin tone, I can actually use it and be fine, but I like my lip liner a little darker. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my contour shade and actually use that to line my lip. Okay, I'm gonna use my Dior lip um, lip liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade 614. And this is my absolute favorite color. Okay, so I'm gonna take a different gloss and put it in the center. So that way it doesn't mix the two. Well, okay, you guys, and here is the final look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And also leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. Where would you wear this makeup look to? Is this a slay or is it a nay? And it Mubarak to all of my Muslim brothers and sisters. I love you all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Mwah.